MVPs, players of the year, and standouts from every division are in Portland to strut their stuff on one of Ultimate's biggest stages. The best of the South and West will do -si do against the elite of the East and Central. And we've got some tantalizing new rules to spice things up. It's time for the ADL All-Star Game. We've seen them shine in stadiums around the country, and tonight, the AUDL's best and brightest are gathered together inside the friendly confines of Providence Park in downtown Portland, Oregon. It's the 2022 AUDL All-Star Game between the East Central All-Stars and the Southwest All-Stars. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Ian Toner alongside Megan Tormey and Katie Killebrew. Ladies, what a fantastic evening we have ahead of us. It's hard to believe that we're kind of in the offseason with all the energy that's been here in Portland at Media Day and on game day today. I know. I have been so excited for this game. What is not to love about the best of the best matching up against one another? To start this game, here's a look at those experimental rules. Number one, five-second stall. What does that look like? The referees, the game officials on the field, they're going to say stalling. They're going to keep one, two, and three silent. Then they're going to say and chop four with a whistle and chop at five. Backfield violation. This is a new enforcement. If the disc is possessed in front of midfield and is repossessed by the same team on or behind midfield, then that's a turnover and the disc will be put into play at the midfield brick. Something that almost every player has indicated he's most excited about, the two-point line. If this throw is released behind the brick line and completed for a goal, that counts for two points. Willie Stewart. Centers the disc up to Abe Coffin. Coffin unleashes deep right away. Marquez Brownlee has steps on Eric Taylor. He goes to the warning track. Remember, five second stalls in effect. These discs have to move more quickly. Here's Pettit Scantling. Resets to Stewart, the Boston Glory star. Knifes one into the red zone. There's Coffin on the doorstep. Looks for Marquez Brownlee, who trips, gets back up, and manages to pull it in. And the East the East Central All-Stars on the attack here as that swing pops up above Ross Barker. Quinn Finer shoots deep right away. Connor DeLuna brings it down on the goal line. He's got to get it off quickly. A push pass to Eric Taylor. And the Southwest All-Stars break to get this game back on serve. Shepard with a hammer to get out of a tight space to Ben Yacht. Ryan Oscar pulls the trigger. This is a good two-pointer if it goes. Two players miss. Kenton Bono brings it down. I beg your pardon, that's Jacob Brissett. And the East Central All-Stars convert the first two-pointer of this All-Star game. Ryan Oscar showing. The Oakland and Colorado All-Stars playing catch. Long with the 50-yard hammer on a rope. Hitting his mark to Connor DeLuna. I love that celebration from DeLuna. I was going to say that the East Central did a What's the best trash talk you've heard so far one quarter in? Uh, Sorry, I got nothing. <laughs> That's we're, bad. Okay, well, you, we'll let you go with that one for now, but you're going to have to think on it, and we're going to get you back on the headset later. I'll do some recon work for you. A phenomenal second effort grab by Connor DeLuna. The Seattle squad, the victorious side in the Northwest Cup, sustained a hamstring injury and has not played yet as we see a successful two-pointer from Abe Coffin to Marquez Brownlee. A devastating break for the East Central All-Stars. Those two-pointers seem so... The regular season. Jordan Kerr, a first-team All-AUDL selection as Ben Yacht shoots deep. Sean Mott turning on the Jets. Sean Mott has the grab! Unbelievable! Ben Yacht and Sean Mott putting aside the New York-Philadelphia rivalry here in this All-Star game and connecting for an electrifying...
with the then San Jose Spiders in 2014. But last season, 2022, he led the Aviators in scores with 55, and he set career highs in assists, goals, and completions. Oh, Kevin Pettit yes. Scantling <laughs> on the second attempt saves the two-pointer. And the East Central extends its lead by two. A great grab there from KPS. You can see that this crowd is as fired up about it as we were. Jake Radak got the initial block, but folks, that's why you don't quit on the play. The backside hustle man gets rewarded. MVP pick. I was going to say, if the Southwest manages to get back on the board, my guess is that DeLuna is going to be involved. Here's Radak throwing a moon ball. Yacht defending. Wow. Oh, my goodness! Jaime Perez just put Ben Yacht on a poster! That is what this game is all about. All-stars making plays. And that is the first two-pointer that the Southwest team has completed. And Pumps the backhand deep shot and knifes that swing right into the defending hands of Andrew Shogren, who takes off to the house right away. And Andrew Shogren says, I'm going to make you pay. Bookends for the Mechanics All-Star. The Spiders All-Star swinging it out to Finer. Hayes is going to the house. Finer puts it. Yacht in the help D position, but he can't get there. Rafi Hayes reels in the deep shot from his divisional rival, Quinn Finer. Yeah, this, we're just having a good time. What is what? What does this meet weekend and this opportunity meant for you so far? Oh, lots. Yeah. Deep Ooh, shot going that's up. A play. And and Ryan Oscar reels in another two-pointer for the East Central All-Stars. Rafi, thanks for your time. He's got to run and get back out on the field for the Southwest All-Stars. Here's Sean Mott, the Philadelphia Phoenix All-Star who just played his first playoff game of the season back in August. Deep shot going up, and oh my goodness! Kevin Pettit Scantling brings down another two-pointer! What a rocket of a throw, but it is that catch. Everybody going up really clean, and it is KPS. own brick there is another caveat that isn't on that graphic all pulls have to cross the midfield line if they don't the offense gets to center the disc at midfield deep shot going up to Ben Yacht and Ben Yacht brings that one down no surprise there with Chris Lung and Goose Helton in the area another two-pointer for the East Central All-Stars so you just have to be behind the dashed line but Max Shepard unleashed that almost from the end zone line, just adding an extra 20 yards onto that reception. The float on that disc is so good. And then when you Minnesota Windchill product has already signed for the next season. As Max Shepard releases another two-point attempt. Looking for Ben Yacht, and he makes the grab in traffic. Quinn Finer tries to close the space. Yacht lets him know that he got there right away. You got it. I stole his goal there, so that feels good, too. <laughs> okay, who's talking better trash tonight, you or Sean? 
Uh, probably Sean. I really tamed it down. I don't know. Uh, JP Burns keeps trying to start something, and I, I just, you know, water off a duck's back. Okay. Anything you got to settle as we go? Oh, there's your boy right there. Oh. Bill Turner <laughs> All right. catching a Callahan. Perfect. That's, hey. uh, you know, hey, exactly I gotta what let I predicted. You, I got to let you go celebrate. Take that headset off. Thanks for your time. Yep. Uh, if we want the Southwest to come back at all, maybe we just need to do more interviews. Maybe they're a little camera shy. Oscar releases one behind the two-point line. He was fouled. Phil Turner, who else, skies the pile and throws the assist into the end zone for the East Central squad. That's Jacob Brissett finishing that one off of the East Central, folks. Goose, I don't know how much of that you caught. Is, is Sean Mott's statement that the Southwest squad is scared of East Central, is that accurate? Gets it right back, throws to space. Keoy! No quitting the LA Aviators veteran. And that is the first break we've seen for a long time. So out, oh, it's there. Maybe I can get it. And then just thought about it for too long on the reception. Shepard shooting for Yacht. Another two-point attempt. And Ben Yacht brings it down in the end zone. That one falls to the turf. And the East Central All-Stars are your 2022 All-Star Game champions. They take down the Southwest All-Stars 42 to 24. defeat Southwest 42 to 24 and I am joined by Abe Coffin who we are crowning the MVP of the all-star game congratulations Abe